James, thank you so much for talking to us today about your injuries, your time in Iraq, and most importantly, what this dog, Pokey, how he's changed your day-to-day -day life. Tell me about what Pokey has meant to you. Pokey has gotten my life back to me by letting, allowing me to go back out in public again. Uh, with the, the traumatic brain injury, I closed myself off from everybody. I, I didn't want to go nowhere after I come home. I wouldn't leave my house, wouldn't do anything. Uh, he has got me to where I go places now. I can live my life, go play with my grandchildren, and just enjoy life. Now, does Pokey actually do things for you? Like, can he fetch your, I don't know, whatever it is you're looking for, your remote? No, he doesn't fetch anything. Um, he alerts to my anxiety. He alerts to, he alerts to my diabetes also. He will lick my leg, and it alerts me to check my sugar, which I have a monitor on my arm. I can just scan it with my phone, and it tells me whether it's high or low. He's doing what they call blocking, which doesn't allow people to come into what I guess you'd call your personal space and it helps keep my anxiety at a normal level, I guess you'd say. Like right now, he's stationed himself right here. So oh, he so he's get... done that purposely? Yes, he's okay. done that purposely. And how long have you had him? I've had him nine years. Nine years, wow. Well, we really appreciate you talking with us, and um, the Patriot Military Family Foundation, one of the things that we do that's most rewarding is being able to give one of these service dogs after it's been trained to veterans like yourself. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you.